Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then please do subscribe to my channel and do give my videos a thumbs up if you like them. Also, do follow me on Instagram where uh, I post all the new updates about my upcoming videos and um, I also answer questions that people ask me in the DMs. Uh, the questions that are asked on Instagram I reply to every Wednesday and the ones that are asked on the comments under my videos I reply to every day. Also, we're starting a new thing on my Instagram which is going to be that whatever question people have been asking me, I'm going to um, take out those questions and the answers that I gave them and make an anonymous post about them and put it on my profile so that it can help as many people as possible. So today's video is going to be about my first aid. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how I used my first aid, how I annotated everything into it from my U world and from the later versions of uh, first aid and uh, how I compiled everything without creating much of a clutter. So yeah, let's get straight into it. <laughs> So let's get started. As most of you already know, first aid is notorious for having a poor binding, which is why I recommend that when you get your first first aid, uh, get a spiral binding done, which um, I obviously haven't. Um, how that helps is that it would prevent your um, pages from falling down. Alternatively, what you can do is that you can divide your book into um, different chapters and you can make a different uh, spiral binding for each chapter. That helps you keep track of um, the number of chapters that you're done with and the number that are remaining. Um, I did something similar to that, but um, instead of getting a spiral binding done uh, because of the person I am, um, I got them stapled together depending on the chapters. For example, this is public health and then this is neurology and this is musculoskeletal and so on. So coming back to the first aid, the first thing that you do when you start um, with the book itself is you go on to the index. Where is the index? Oh, here it is. Okay, so you go on to the index and um, you're going to see all this stuff first, which uh, you don't really have to read unless you want to. Um, this is where the real good stuff starts, which is your high yield general principles. It contains six of the general principle topics. So what you do is that coming here, you write down the total number of pages um, contained inside each of these chapters like so. This way you know which of the uh, chapters are bigger and which are smaller and then you do the same thing over here at the high yield organ system. This way I have a clear idea that for example psychiatry is a shorter topic than let's suppose cardiology. One more thing that will happen um, by doing this is that you'll be able to plan out the number of days that you'll need to finish these topics. For example, um, this was my little unsuccessful plan down here. It said uh, total pages are 592, so 40 pages per day should be around 15 days for the whole book, which is a little over ambitious, but nobody's judging. So one good thing at the end of this book is that they have this little review section that um, I didn't use, but I think that it's really it's really good and it's um, it could be really useful if you just want a quick re recap of all the important conditions. So they've mentioned all these um, all these key points and all the um, diagnoses that you can get from those. So if you just um, go through this, it will be a good way to recap everything that you've read in the book. So now I've just opened a random um, chapter in the book. Here I'll show you how I annotated things into the book from U World and how I underlined and highlighted the things in each of my reads. So um, in the first read, uh, the things that I found important, I just underlined them using my bullpoint. And 
Then in my second read, I used a different pen and I just highlighted these things in green that I thought I might want to read again. Um, and in my final read, um, not, not the final, but like the second last read, I used a highlighter and I just picked out a few things that I thought that I might want to read in my uh, final read before the exam, which as I mentioned in my previous video, I did in a day. So these highlights were really helpful for that. The most important thing to remember here is not to get carried away with the highlighter because this is your most important information and you don't want to go ahead and highlight everything in the book and create a mess for yourself. Just try not to highlight more than four or five lines per page. Okay, so another thing that I did, as you can see over here, is I annotated things from UWorld. And when I did annotate anything from UWorld, I, make sh I made sure to write down the question ID over there in case if I, in case, for example, I am rereading this information and I don't, I don't understand um, something that I wrote, like maybe I um, wrote something that's not illegible or maybe I wrote uh, something that contains insufficient information, I can always go back using my question ID. One more thing that I did was, for example, if I would find some lines in first aid that I had also read in UWorld, I would just write UW there, which would mean that I read this in UWorld. And I also did this for NBMEs and UWSA. I would specifically mention where I read that particular thing. That just helped me um, find out what the most most high yield um, concepts are. Although first aid, pretty much everything written in it is high yield. You know, even the little things that are written inside the brackets, even they are high yield. So don't miss out on anything. But you know, for the things that you want to read on the last day, doing um, things like this, like you world, and then you know, just highlighting it, it really really helps you do your final read. Now, some people suggest that when you get your um, spiral binding done, you should add A4 size sheets in the middle of every two sets of papers so that you can make notes over there um, when you want to. But uh, that doesn't work for me because that's going to make the book thicker and it's going to make it look more scary. So um, I prefer taking colored pages and just making small notes and, uh, you know, sticking them wherever I want. So this particular note is um, about bronchiolitis and I've written the question ID over here as you can see so that I remember where I got this information from. If I got it from NBME, I would write NBME there. If I got it from some article, I would mention the article um, name over there. And if I just got it off Google, then I would write it without a reference so that I know that this was something that I just looked up. You can see I've highlighted things in my notes as well so that in my final read I don't have to read the whole thing again and I can just read the highlighted part. Okay, so now let me explain um, how I annotated things from FA18 into my FA17. So whatever main book that you have that you're most comfortable with, you should continue with that and you should just keep adding things into it from the later versions of first aid because it's very important to always read the latest version because it contains um, the most high yield information that's out there. So in so during my um, second read of first aid, I started doing FA18 along with it. So for example, I would open one page in my FA18 and then I would open this same page in my FA17 and I would just um, take out the pointers that are missing in this book and just add them up. For example, this one point over here and then I would just write FA18 next to it so that I know where I got it from. Uh, then there would be some things that would be too big to write down and I didn't want to waste any time and I was a bit lazy too. So um, I would just write C page 370 for like sialolithiasis or whatever. And uh, sometimes what I would do is that, for example, if there is like too much information for me to um, write a reference from, I would just um, tear up the page from FA18 and fold it up and just keep it in my FA17 so that I can have a look at it later. Now let me show you another page just to let you guys know what I mean. 
Um, over here, you can see that I've annotated a few things and um, there's nothing written over here, which means that I got these things off Google. And uh, uh, for example, this annotation, this is the one that I got from um, UWorld. So I've mentioned the question ID over there. And yeah, so these are a few more notes that I had added. These are basically um, viral mnemonics. If you guys want me to do a video on these, do let me know in the comments below. And here's an example of other another note that I made from UWorld as the question ID is mentioned over here. And again, I've highlighted things in it so that I can read them at the end. One more thing that was really helpful that I wanted to show you guys is I added these um, separators or bookmarks or whatever you call them. They're like these um, strips that you can add on each on the beginning of each chapter so that uh, for example if you want to do cardiology you don't have to um you don't have to go on looking where it is and you can just uh, pick it up from here and open cardiology so yeah that's how it is although it's pretty messed up in my book but you know what i mean so the last thing i want to show you guys is that the images given in first aid sometimes i would see that image in u world or nbme or uh, uwsa so i would just um go ahead and mark that image in my first aid and write down where i saw it that way i know that that image is, is important and sometimes there would be these um, cd scans or x-rays that wouldn't be too clear or maybe I would want to see different presentations of that particular disease. So I would just um, go ahead and Google them up and um, have a look at uh, the different ways in which it could present. There would be like a few things um, that I would read that I would think that are that they're high yield, but I wouldn't find a place to put them in the book. So I would just... Um, go ahead and put it on my on the first page of my book or I would just make a note about it and you know put it over here or maybe at the end so yeah there you go that's the tour of my first aid um the first aid of a very very messed up person but um yeah you get the idea so if you like this video, please, please do give me a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel. That would just mean so much to me and it's going to be so encouraging for me. But yeah, that's it. Have a nice day then. Bye-bye.